For this video, I wanted to explain some of the positives that buying silver has and discuss why it's potentially undervalued. Silver comes in many different forms, including numismatic pieces such as the Morgan dollar, these bullion coins like the Britannia, and also silver bars. But also many stackers out there will focus specifically on weight, and they might even buy scrap or sterling pieces, which usually come at a lower premium. Depending on the type of stacker that you are, depends on the type of pieces you buy. Now, silver has a lot of qualities, including them being widely used for industry. It's a reflective metal and the biggest deposits are usually found in South America. Typically countries such as Argentina and Chile. Um, but according to Vesta News as well, Peru have the most silver reserves out of any country in the world. And this is at 98,000 metric tonnes uh, in 2023. So they're a major producer of silver and they ship it all across the world. Silver has been used for currency as well. And typically many stackers are aware of the US constitutional pre 64. The US produced silver coins, including dollars, half dollars and so on. And they've become largely collectible uh, because of the typically worth more than their face value due to the spot of silver. Typically, when you go and buy your silver bullion coins, such as, let's say, one of these coins, uh, you can rest assured that the piece of bullion you'll buy is going to be worth something to someone. Compared to fiat currency like dollars, pounds and euros, they can't print silver. They can't they can't reproduce this sort of stuff. They pull it out of the ground and um, and ship it off, uh, ship it off across the world. That makes these coins. Um, now, the US came off the gold standard in 64, but for a short while, um, they actually made gold illegal to own. But that's for a whole different video. Silver can't be printed. It's valuable. It's something you can physically own. You can keep it. You can store it. You can collect it. Whatever you want to do with it, you can have it in your house or wherever you want to store it, really. And it can be useful in times when you need to raise some sort of money. Let's say you have a bill. Silver can be a good savings account for the longer term. Just be careful that if you sell in the short term, you're likely to lose some type of money. Um, but compare silver to gold uh, in the last 20 years, it's actually outperformed uh, gold. It can be quite a useful savings account. And potentially people do see it as a type of asset. However, this doesn't produce um, money flow. Just be aware, this won't produce money flow or a profit until you come to sell it. But silver is a great option to store your money into a physical item. You'll know it will always be worth something to someone you can easily sell if you had to if you had to sell it. And I'd personally say to try and stay clear of the larger pieces, let's say the uh, the really big bars, the massive bars that are thousands of dollars, thousands of pounds. Although a bullion dealer will take it off you, they'll probably try and give you a low ball offer. But compare selling it to eBay or secondary marketplaces you're going to be incurring some fees with that. So it's something to uh, something to consider. But um, small tip from myself, just try and keep it simple when it comes to stacking. Um, but of course, who am I to tell you uh, what to stack, what to buy? You buy what you like. It's just um, something I've experienced. You want to buy things preferably, if you can, with the intention that you're going to easily sell it. And I mean, in terms of government bullion, such as the Britannias, the Maples, um, they're very easily sold. Everyone knows them. They're well renowned. And uh, of course, your country may have those positives. Let's say the UK has those uh, capital gains tax free, which is being lowered, which means you can sell as many of these as possible and you won't have to pay any tax because they're considered as legal tender. As you can see, they've got a denomination of two pounds on the back but it can be a good asset guys um, it just obviously it doesn't produce that um, that cash flow that people would preferably like in dividends and, and house um, property and things like that but it can be a good savings things potentially you might want to save it to buy that or for a pension or something whatever you want to do or perhaps you just like the numismatic or the coin uh, or the stacking uh, community and just the um the, the goodness of having your wealth in physical form and uh, you storing it anyway. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Potentially silver is undervalued right now because it's half its price of the 
all time high at the moment. It has taken a little bit of a beating compared to gold, but it is one for the future and I believe it is as well. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing if you enjoy this content. And uh, of course, if you want to support the channel, leave a like, leave a comment so I know your thoughts and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, guys.